Today on Singles Court, Nick's getting cold feet about his trip to the altar. I've got a lot of stresses in my life right now. And now he's got a lot of splaining to do. He's growing further and further away from me, and things that didn't bother him before are bothering him now. Are they on the verge of a nervous breakup? You're terrified. Look at you. And Carlos has a beef. Who's the flavor no, of when, the week? When we it's all about my best friend's bedding. Everyone. You don't even remember their names. I remember their names. I think you're just jealous. But why are you doing it? Jealous of what? But is that the only thing keeping him up at night? Why do you want me to stay? Exactly. I will move. Why do you want me to stay? Michael Day, welcome to Singles Court, the number one show on the Singles Broadcast Network and the place where singles come to find help with their relationship problems. And here's the lady who dishes it out, nationally syndicated relationship expert, Angela Siegel. That's me, that's that, me. That is you. You are the lady in charge. The lady who's written a couple of books, which I just found out. I've known you all this time and didn't know you were a, uh, an author. I didn't know it. See, you just don't know. That's yeah. I'm always writing, always thinking, you know, trying well, to get as much material as, as possible. As soon as I learn how to read, I will uh, <laughs> get on those. Okay, but in the studio today, we have people, real live people, and they need your help. Uh, say hello to Lotta and Nick. They're both social workers and about 18 months ago got social with each other. They started dating and shortly after Nick proposed marriage, Lotta accepted and everything was going along charmingly until Lotta started to feel that Nick was getting a, you know, maybe a bit of second thoughts or whatever. But uh, anyhow, I'll let them uh, plead their case, but I call it the case of uncool to be cold. Wow, Lotta, you don't look very happy. What's going on? Angela, um, Nick and I started seeing each other about 18 months ago. Uh, we met on a volunteer project called Street Action Patrol. And um, I, I fell in love with him almost immediately. His example was inspiring. I thought I finally met somebody who I could relate to who believed in the things that I did. And he proposed after only a few months. And I accepted. And lately... So, like, so you all met, had this kind of whirlwind thing going on, because you have the same goals and kind of desires, and you're doing the volunteer thing. Yeah. But three months and you were engaged already? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just thought I'd ask. Go ahead. Um, Lately, he's just been really cold, really distant, and I feel like something's going on he's not being honest about. Well, what do you say? Well, it's been 18 Nick. months. Uh, things are going to change, right? You know, it's like, it's not well, going to be usually. the same way. I mean, it changed over 18 months, but you mean they changed from how they are right now? Well, that, no, it's like question? over 18 months. I mean, things are going to change from when we first dated. Of course it's going to be different. And I've got a lot of stresses in my life right now, so it's, well, things Nick, aren't going to be no the same. You have no more stresses than I do. What are you talking about? I'm doing the work of like three people at the job I'm working out well, right what, now. What she you, has no idea what I do there. Well, Nick, what are you doing that she feels is different? What is, what is she calling distant? Give me an example. Angela, he would rather watch TV and be with his friends than he would with me. I need some me. time out every now and again. And, you know, you get married, things change. I gotta see my friends before I go through this. This is a major commitment So here, do you right? think, like, when you get married, you're not gonna see your friends anymore after you get married? Well, things are gonna change. I don't know. We, we've been talking about moving out of the city, and things are gonna be a little bit different, right? So you're, so, like, trying to get your last whirlwind in? Is that what you're saying? Angela? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Like, I just wanna saying? see people. I just wanna see the guys, you know? It's like... Uh, Angela, a couple of weeks ago, he said that he was going to take me out for dinner to make everything up to me because he knew that I'd been feeling Which this way for I some did. time. Which I did. He showed up over an hour late, and when I called I him on it... I was late. I told you that. Was that uncommon behavior? Is he using it punctual? Very. Oh, very. He would okay. have never done that before. When I called him on it, he said that he was on the phone with his mother begging for her blessing to accept our marriage. Is that true? Yeah. So it took an hour. So you were on the phone for a whole hour? Well, listen, my parents are really wealthy, okay? They very wealthy. They're very wealthy, okay? They, uh, they don't accept me. 
they don't accept her. Okay, they're snobs. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're way up here. A lot of comes from a very different family. They came from Venezuela years ago. I mean, they have a very different income level than what my parents are into. And it's like, I have always, all my life, rebelled against my parents. And, and, and this is another example of rebellion? Oh. Lada and I have a lot in common. We, we, we work together. We work side by side in Street Action Patrol. I mean, we really work together. We, we share the same ideals. I mean, my, my politics are nowhere, nowhere Nick, near my parents. They're Nick, conservative all the way. Nick, I, these are the things that I fell in love with you for. But what lately... Are the, what are the things that you fell in love with him for? These Rebellion? very things. The fact that he, he stood up for what he believed in, no matter what his parents were. His parents are exactly. concerned about who's having a better lawn party next door to them. Okay, but he, but he asked you to marry him. So you're the one that he, so he is, even if he's rebelling, don't you think that, doesn't he get credit for that at all? But Angela, the Nick that I know would not have cared whether his mother accepted me in this marriage or They're not. Still well, They're I mean, still my parents. They're still my parents. I still love them. Okay, I rebelled against them all my life. They have nothing to talk about except money, but they are still my parents. They, I, I mean, you can understand what he's saying. I mean, you, would you turn your back on your parents? But what am I supposed to do? They don't accept me. You can't do anything about that, except for love the man you love. The question, I think the question to you, Nick, is how are you going to handle the fact that your parents don't accept her? It's, it's, it's very important to me that, that we work something out. I'm, I'm not going to disown my parents from No, marriage. you can't. It's like, I, I always thought that we had our plans and priorities all worked out. And now he's growing further and further away from me. And things that didn't bother him before are bothering him now. Well, and I think something's going on. Marriage is a lifelong commitment. It's like, it's like the things to do. Like, for example, a month Nick, ago. Something is going on that you're not telling me. A month ago, me. she drops on me that she wants to have kids like right away after getting married. We never talked about that well, before. You know, this but think about it. Think about why it's so, so stressful to you. Three months and you're engaged. So that's why you didn't talk about it. You have time. You know, between having coffee, going out to a club, well, when did they and, find time to put together an action plan on your I life? Mean, it just there. does. I mean, you, don't have, you didn't have any time. You're terrified to marry me, aren't you? You're terrified. Look at you. It's a major commitment. There's a lot going on. I got to work out a lot of things. I got a lot of issues Nick, here. Nick. I have responsibilities to Nick. my family as well. Nick, you've known that all along. What's the real issue here? I mean, let's let's get real. You know, let's get real. What is the real issue? Do you really want to marry her or not? Oh, God. That's, I, I don't. You know what, maybe if you would have stopped talking so much, maybe you really would have found out the answer. Do you want to marry her or not? Well, I wanted, I really wanted to get it right. I really, Lada seemed like the perfect girl. I mean, it's like, you know, she was like so different than anybody else I had ever met. She came from like a completely other side of town, so a completely you, different background. Her, her family was like wanted, so welcoming. Wanted, you wanted, right? In yeah. the past tense, you wanted to marry her. You don't want to marry her. Tell her. Well, I'm sorry. Lada, do you see what, do you see what this means though? You know, do you, I mean, Obviously, you don't feel, feel very good about what he's saying, but do you, do you see what's happening here? I mean, tell me, what you, tell me what you're thinking right now. I'm disgusted. Why? I, what are you disgusted in? Because I, because I guess I've always known that he didn't love me and that I wanted to believe that he did. And for a minute, for a while, I, I did believe that he loved me. Well, now you know. I'll be back with my resolution. You know, we usually know in our hearts what's usually revealed to our ears. And you said it several times that you knew that he didn't really love you. And we all have that little voice inside of us, but we can only hear it if we listen. And a lot of times we want things to be one way and we're really not listening to what's going on. And I think that's what's happened here with you, Lotta. Nick, you on the other hand, your rebellion was against your parents and the whole thing was really a plot to continue to rebel. But it's time to grow up, you're not a baby. You know, throw away the pampers and realize that you cannot continue to rebel. You're a grown man, you make your own decisions. And when the rubber hits the road, it's ultimately you that's going to have to be responsible for these decisions that you make. You hurt. Lotta, and you did not have a right to do that and, and to use her. That's basically what you did. You used her to hurt your parents. You know, in relationships, when people are used as pawns, 
all the players lose. Nobody wins in that situation. Lada, you're a great person. You're in a profession that requires you to take care of others. What I'm telling you here today is that you need to take care of you. There's nothing wrong with looking out for you, your feelings, your joys, and your own pain. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. It doesn't take away from what you do for a living. It doesn't take away for, from the vow that you've made to take care of others. But I tell you, you must take care of self first. You, Nick, I mean, you need to grow up. You need to realize that you can't continue to hurt other people. A lot of may not be the one for you, and I understand that. I mean, everybody uh, gets themselves in situations where they realize they may not love the person. But now you have a responsibility. If you're going to fly, then get your butt out of the nest and fly. Don't clip the wings and blame other people. It's your chance. It's your opportunity. Because you don't have a right to continue to plop bird poop on people because you're unwilling to fly. And that's that, the final word. Next on Singles Court. Carlos has a beef. Who's the flavor no, of when, the week? We it's all about no, my best we friend's betting. Everyone. You don't even remember their names. I remember their names. I think you're just jealous. But is that the only thing keeping him up at night? Why do you want me to stay? Exactly. I will move. Why do you want me to stay? And Singles Court is back with nationally syndicated relationship expert Angela Siegel. You know, the suspense just always gets me. I never know what's going to happen. Well, and get ready for this one because this is a very suspenseful uh, little case Vignette. we have here. Say hello to Carlos and Rick. They're in the studio today because no. they have a problem. Now, Carlos is an accountant and Rick manages a supermarket. The two of them have been roommates for six months now. Uh, they've been friends for longer. And uh, there's becoming a bit of a house rift between the two of them because of their, their both were once partiers and now Carlos is trying to put the party hat down, but Rick is saying, bring it on, bring it on. And I'll let them tell you more about it, but I call it the case of with gay abandon. So Rick, it sounds like you want a party still and you have a little issue about that. What's going on? Absolutely. I don't have an issue with it. It's, oh, it's, it's, okay. I like to party. That's, that's my life right now. Um, and we're here, well, we consent mutually to come here, but I think uh, Carlos should go first. Okay, well, Carlos, let it out. Well, what happens is that, uh, as it says, uh, for the last six months he's been living at my home, uh, which I really enjoy. But the two of you are just friends, right? Uh, yes, we, okay. we have known each other for over 15 years. Oh. Yes. We're best friends. That's a long time. That's all. We, we truly care about each other. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what brings me really here, because uh, I care about him and, and his image. And lately, his image has been, well, rather shady, to say the no, least. No, 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 oh, no. Well, describe to me image. What do you mean? I mean, he's well, a supermarket manager. So it's what getting, kind of image do you Well, yes, this, this would be okay if he would be taking, be taking care of the store, but not as much as cruising the aisles looking for younger boys. I'm not, no, okay, no, no, okay, no. Okay, when, it, when 20s, it comes to work, when it, no, fine. work is work, and this is my private time. I've just, I ended a long-term relationship just a little while ago, and it, uh, it was rather now, messy. ask him why it ended. Ask him why it ended. Okay. Don't, no, no, I'll no, we don't need to go there. Why did it end? It ended for a lot of reasons. Let's just say. What were the names? Bill, Tom, and Jane. Mm. Oh, I know. Very it was Jane. No. I see you catching on because this is it. It's it, it, it's who's the flavor no, when, of the when week? When we were to, no, when we were together in my relationship, it was a monogamous relationship. It ended for a variety of reasons, which really? we That's have discussed. Point. And no, the well, I admit it. Basically, the same. You party hardy all the time. Okay, you look twenty-five, but it doesn't mean you have to act it. Well, no, I mean, the I'm, neighbors I'm, I'm are enjoying talking. myself. You're an accountant. You sit. You, you come home. You, you sit all day in the office in your I little cubicle. I have a question. Cubicle. I have a question. Remember me? If Carlos, if you're just roommates, what do you care if he looks like a fool? I mean, what does that tell me? Because the imposition it's on you. we are friends. We are friends for fifteen years, and if you are in a friendship for that long, you obviously care about the person, and you care about what other people think about them. And and let me tell you, I've heard stories from the neighbors. No, like no. I sometimes I don't even see these people leave the next day because I get up early in the morning when I I've, come home. I have never I hear missed the a day of who work. So I'm so responsible and so and so. at work. Uh, my job gets done. I bring in my income. I've never had a problem with any of the people at work. It's now well, that I'm single. 
I have no obligations in my life. So I have no children. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm enjoying myself. I I'm going to parties. I am concerned about your clubs. income of the young fleet of boys that you have. And I can't even give the no, neighbors I any think... names pretending I know these people because I'm sure you don't even remember their names. I remember their names. I think you're just jealous. But why are you doing it? Jealous of why what? Why do you think Je he's jealous? Because... Of what? You come home at it's night. It's not like you're doing something. No, you come we home at night. We past. have supper. I say, Carlos, let's go do something. Let's go out. Let's have a. Let's go out and and have a coffee and watch the world go by on the on the sidewalk. And you say, No, I think I'd rather just rent a video but and stay home tonight. Maybe, maybe. He's a, he's he an just... old poop now. He's getting old. We're forty. We're not dead. We should be allowed to go out and party. What do you mean? And I'm getting old. We're the same you, age. Oh, you yes, just, I know we're the same age, you, but I'm you act like you're sixty. No, I'm not. I'm acting like a responsible. 40-year-old person. Okay, Maybe he you know. just heard enough ABBA and wants to turn the volume down. Well, Thank you very much. I think that is the truth. I okay, mean, that, that, that is exactly agree, it. Do you disagree that you have different lifestyles? I mean, well, I mean can you see that he wants to do something different than you that doesn't make him worse than well, you? Well, he says that I'm getting old. Then I'm asking, why does boring. the volume have to be so loud? Oh, no, if I'm not, the old ones, you seem to be hard no, of hearing. It's, or is it not just pretending to be young and Mr. Disco? Oh, give me a break. No, you don't I mean, you want to do anything. You're, you're boring, you're stayed. You used to lead an exciting lifestyle. We used to go out when we were younger. We would go out and party but, but that's all the, the key, time the key together. But the key phrase there is when we were younger. You understand he's saying exactly. you need to chill a little bit just for, your, for the sake of your reputation. And no, I think I think it goes beyond one chill. No, I, actually, I think, you know what is I think Do you want is? me to move out? No, I don't want you to move you, out. Because I, I think that would solve the relationship. Well, I want right. you to be honest because you think we I just want to go out but and then, you know and then look Carlos. around and enjoy the Carlos. world. Yes. If you don't like what he does. You don't agree with his lifestyle. Why would you not just want him to move out? That's what I would to say. To save move. the relationship, I will move out. Because I'm concerned about him. Number one, it is isn't safe to bring him. home different people. You want control like my parents had. No. It's not about control. What's Why do you about? want me to stay? What is it about? Because he can move because out. Because he's and then... making a fool of himself, and I do care about him. Okay, so you can care about him in another household, then you won't know what he's doing. Well, it would even be worse, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't, because you wouldn't be seeing it. So help me understand why you think it's necessary to hammer him about his lifestyle, but yet you won't let him move out of the house. And you're just friends. It's not that I don't uh, let him move out of the house. He can, he well, can move if he wants to, but this is not why, why we're here. Why do you want me to stay? We're not here because it's a matter why of space. Why do you want me to stay? Space. It oh, is a why do you want me to stay? Exactly. I will I move. Why question. do you want me to stay? Why do you want him to stay? I don't think I need to say it again, but obviously you're not answering it. Well, because I think he should, he should, he should settle down. He should settle down with, with, with someone who... Uh, who uh, Whose name is Carlos? I'm just taking a guess here. Is this what you want? Well, yes. Uh, I, I don't. I need to hear it. Well, maybe. What are the words? Maybe. You're liking this, aren't you? You're enjoying it. Maybe I, uh, maybe the, the jealousy, I, y why don't you go out with me anymore? I want to. So you see, I, I why, just, do, why I don't want you to want to go out with me? That's why what I always this, really wanted. Why actually. was this so? Well, why was this so Do you want so to hard? go out with me? What are you saying exactly? They don't need me. Do you two need to be alone? <laughs> because I suppose I do care about more than just a friendship. Thank you. This is what I have been waiting for. So you acted like a fool in order to hear that? Exactly. I'll be back with my resolution. Party on. <laughs>
in, relation, <laughs> in relationships. You know, when feelings are kept secret, what happens is that we lose valuable time. And that's what happened here. You know, you don't, we don't know how much time you all lost when you could have, in fact, just told the truth up front and perhaps been able to have even more years together. So now we know truth is out in the open. And the best thing about it is that you all have what a lot of people never get to, which is a friendship that has endured 15 years. That's great. So it's a wonderful basis for a good relationship. All the other things come into play later on, but without that core, it's really hard to keep a relationship going. So you're already ahead of the game because you already have that. I would tell you that as you move on through life, just understand that you do have different personalities and there is going to have to be some compromise. I think that you can probably come down a little bit in age and you can kind of come up a little bit in age. <laughs> and hopefully the two of you can meet somewhere around 40. And that's that, the final word. Well, there it is. Words of wisdom from the lady who tells it like it is, Angela Siegel. Join us next time here at Singles Court. The final word for singles.